Number six, the total age of Anthony and Bennett is 12 years more than the total of age of Bennett and Carlo. Carlo is how many years younger than Anthony? Sa first sentence pa lang, mayroon na tayong nabuong, mabubuong equation dito. Total means i-add natin the total age of Anthony and Bennett. So, let A be Anthony plus B si Bennett. Ang total age nila is means equal 12 years more. So, 12 years more plus the total age of Bennett. Let B sa Bennett at saka si Carlo plus Carlo. Again, the total age of Anthony plus Bennett is, is means equal, 12 years more than the total of Bennett and Carlo plus 12 years. So, ito na yung equation natin. Then, itong si B, transpose natin dito. So, kung transpose natin yan, si positive B, maging negative B dito. Meaning, makancel out na si B. Kasi si B minus B, wala na. So, ang matitira na lang ay A equals 12 plus C. Itong si C, itranspose natin sa kabila. So, positive C siya, so maging negative C. That is, A minus C equals 12. Gandahan lang natin. That is, A minus C. Okay. So, ito na lang natitira. A minus C equals 12. Take note. The question is, Carlo is how many years younger than Anthony? So, ito si Anthony. Ito si Carlo. So, mas mataas ang edad ni Anthony kay Carlo. I-minus mo lang. Yan na yung gap nila. So, A minus C equals 12. Ito na yung sagot. The answer is 12. Number 7. The ages of two persons differ by 16 years. Six years ago, the elder one was three times as old as the younger one. What are the ages of the... Uh, dapat, what is the age of the elder person? So, ito, this, uh, the problem given here is the same as sa number three natin. So, ulitin natin. Ito yung si younger at saka si older. So, sa present age nila... Let Y be the younger, tapos younger plus 16, itong si older, kasi 16 years man ang gap nila. So, yung plus 16, yan yung nakakatanda. 6 years ago, that is minus 6. So, 6 years ago, si Y minus 6. The elder one was 3 times as old as the younger one. Ito si older, 3 times sa Y minus 6. So, ang gagawin nating equation ay itong si older one. So, y plus 16 minus 6 ay equal sa 3 times y minus 6. So, ito na yung equation natin. y, 16 minus 6, and that is 10, equals 3 times y, that is 3y, and 3 times negative 6, and that is negative 18. Ipagsama natin ang mga like terms, so itranspose natin si y sa kabila, magiging negative y. At ito namang si negative 18, itranspose natin sa kabila, 10, magiging positive 18. So, 10 plus 18, and that is 28, equals 3y minus y, and that is 2y. So, ang 2, transpose din natin sa kabila, since nag-multiply siya, i-divide natin para makancel out siya, nandito na siya sa kabila. So, Y na isolate na dito. 28 divided by 2 and that is 14. So, si younger, ang edad niya ay 14. Ngayon, ang tanong dito ay ilang edad yung nakakatanda. So, kung si Y ay 14, bali, 14, to yung equivalent ng Y, plus 16, and that is 30. So, 30 ang sagot, letter D. Number 8. The ages of two persons differ by 20 years. If five years ago, the elder one be five times as old as the younger one, their present ages in years are? So, ang question na ito ay halos kapariho lang sa number 7 at number 3. At pariho din siya sa number 1. Now, let's do, uh, let's make a table instead. So, A, 
ito yung unang tao na younger bali sa present age nila ito yung edad ng younger one at si older one si elder one is plus 20 yan yung present nila now 5 years ago a minus 5 the elder one be 5 times as old as the younger one so i multiply natin ang 5 si a minus 5 now ito na yung equation natin itong si o, elder one na age niya at present ipag i-equal natin siya sa age niya 5 years ago a plus 20 minus 5 kasi a plus 25 years ago is equal to as 5 times of a minus 5. So, ito na yung equation natin. Solve natin to. a plus 20 minus 5 and that is 15 equals 5 times a, 5a, 5 times negative 5 that is negative 25. Pagsama natin ang mga like terms and that is 5a minus a. Kasi transpose natin si a dito, maging negative a. 15 plus 25, kasi si negative 25, pag i-transpose sa kabila, magiging ne positive 25. So this is 15 plus 25, and this is 40, equals 5a minus a, that is 4a. So i-cancel out natin si 4 dyan para ma-isolate na si a by dividing both sides na four, ng 4. So, 40 divided by 4, and that is 10. So, ang edad ng isa ay 10. 10 plus 20, 30 ang edad sa isa. So, ang isa ay 10. Ang isa naman, yung nakakatanda ay 30. So, the answer is letter D. Number 9. Ratio between Randy and Danny is 4 is to 3. After 6 years, Randy age will be 26. What is Danny present age? So, si Randy, ito siya si 4, will be 4x, let be Randy, equals 4x, ang edad niya. Si Danny naman ay 3x, yung edad niya. After 5 years, I, I mean, after 6 years, si Randy, ang edad niya ay magiging 26. So, ito yung isolve natin. 4x plus 6 equals 26. I-transpose natin ang, ang 6 sa kabila. 4x, 26, magiging negative 6 kapag i-transpose sa kabila. And this is 26 minus 6, that is 24x. Para ma-isolate si x ito, nito, uh, mag-divide tayo ng 4 sa both sides. So that means 20 divided by 4 equals 5. So, yung x ay equivalent ng 5. Bali, 5 ang value ng x. So, ito, si Danny, yan naman ang tanong. So, 3, yung x ang equivalent niya ay 5. So, 3 times 5 equals 15. So, the answer is letter B. Number 10. Sheila was twice as old as Anali 10 years back. How old is Anali today if Sheila will be 40 years old in 10 years? So, Sheila plus, let S be the age of Sheila now. Sheila plus 10 years, she will be 40 years old. So, 10 years back, ito yung after 10 years. So, at present, ang edad ni Sheila, ito i-transpose natin sa kabila, and that is 40 minus 10. So, 30 ang present age ni Sheila. 10 years back, edad ni Sheila, it will, it will be 30 minus 10, maging 20. So, 20 years old si Sheila, 10 years back. Itong si Anali, take note sa first sentence. Sheila was twice as old as Anali, 10 years ago. So, 10 years ago, ito yung edad ni Sheila. Itong 20 is twice itong 20 is twice as old as Anali. So, Anali 10 years ago, she was 10. At present, that was 10 years ago. At present, so mag plus 10 ka, 
She is now 20. So the answer is letter D. Another way of solving this is, si Sheila is equal to twice of Annalie 10 years ago. Kung si Sheila plus 10 years, she will be 40. So, uh, mag-substitute tayo. Si S is equals to 2A minus 10. Bring down mo lang si plus 10 equals 40. So, ito na yung equation natin. Negative 10 plus 10 and that is 0. So, wala na yan. We have now 2A equals 40. So, A is equals 20. Kasi mag-divide tayo ng 2 to both sides para ma-isolate na si A dito. So, 40 divided by 2 is 20. So, the answer is 20.